Hey folks, Polytopia John Madden here with another matchup. Um, this game is a, uh, a game uh, between myself and Tolkien, uh, another uh, Polytopia YouTuber. Uh, I am playing as Jinji, and he is playing as Quinzali. Um, this was actually a game we played uh, live on his stream, um, so let's check it out. I'm just going to go ahead and play the first few um, turns here. I start exploring, discover mining, he starts exploring, right? I capture my, my first uh, village, he enters a couple villages, discovers organization. I capture my second uh, village, upgrade it. He captures his first two villages, upgrades one of them, goes with the explorer. And then upgrades his second village. Now this is this is actually where I, I'm gonna pause. Um I uh I I never choose explorers. I never really know a good reason for them. Uh, especially in the early game with the uh the economy, right? I always prioritize the economy. And I think this uh this ended up showing up with my advantage later on in the game. So I upgrade my uh, my 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 third village. He upgrades his, uh, his second uh, city. Goes for the resources. He discovers hunting. Upgrades his capital. Discovers riding. Yeah. So I'm just gonna pause. So I, I have now um, smithery. Um, another reason why I wouldn't have cho chosen um, the Explorer is Chinchi already has mountains. And so, uh, you know, with this mountain here, um, you know, and this mountain here, I can already see most of the game. I can see that he's here. I can see that he's pushed up. There's not a whole lot more I'm going to need to see at this point. Yes, it would be nice to have some more insight into what my opponent is doing. But I don't think it made a huge difference in this game. Let's uh, let's keep watching. <clears throat> I discover hunting. Back to his turn. He captures the village. Back to my turn. I uh, I enter this village here, um, and also enter this village down here. All right. Let's keep watching. Upgrade that uh, that second city. Discover forestry. So I'm uh, my strategy of this game. Let me just pause super quickly. So um, if I go back here, right, my tech tree. I am um, upgrading and then teching as much as I can. Right. The the strategy I'm playing here is um, upgrade. Uh, the uh, my cities as much as I can get as many giants onto the board and then out economy him right um, again we'll see how it turns out but uh, let me go back to the playing he enters that second city he discovers roads right so he's very clearly going with a uh, roads and riders strategy I've got my first super unit on the board, captured that city that he captured, or that uh, the village he captured. I have my second super unit on the board, and a swordsman. So, let me pause. At, at this point, it's really interesting, at this point, if I go back and it pauses, there we go. He's getting 14 stars per turn and has uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, five cities compared to my four. So his, not only is his technology now going to be more expensive, um, but he's getting less stars per turn, right? I know we're only on turn nine. Let's see how it ends at turn 10 where we want to hit the North Star of 30 stars per turn by the end of turn 10. 
So uh, let's keep watching. Okay, so the end of my turn, I'm getting 20 stars per turn at the end of turn 10, right? So not in, super great, right? But, um, uh, you know, I have, I have a, a couple super units on the board, and I'll be using those to push up uh, into here, here, and over here. Okay, so he's getting, the end of turn 10, he's getting 17 stars per turn, right? Um, uh, so my, my economy is now doing better than, than his. Um, it's likely I'm going to be taking this out, right? Um, uh, we'll see how that, how that goes. I've entered in this village. Right, I think in the next couple turns I'll be entering into this village uh, and really preventing him from, uh, you know, boosting his economy on these these peripheral villages. Oh, that's really interesting. So rather than than capture this here, yeah, rather than capture this one here, I move this one onto this here. And then just move this one up. I think I'm going to go for maybe another swordsman on this one. Maybe. I don't know what I was thinking there. Um, I have entered this one, uh, like I mentioned. Let's keep watching. There we go. So at, at the end of m my turn, move this back. He uh, he has this unit here, which means I have to uh, put something on my capital here. Otherwise, he'll just move in, right? So I've uh, I've I've started just spamming uh, swordsmen, right? I've also uh, entered into two of his his villages here. Um, this is relatively close, but it is the only unit that can actually um, threaten my uh, capital here, right? Uh, so as long as I have something that can withstand that, I'm totally fine. In this case, a swordsman can definitely um, overpower a, a rider. So he discovers forestry. Gets a super unit. Upgrades this uh, this city up here at the front. He's gonna upgrade it to a, uh, a super unit. Now, in his commentary, he if I go back a little bit. So in his commentary, he mentions that he he was thinking he could have upgraded this um, to a a, a giant. Right, so there would be one, two, three, four, five, um, and then maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stars he would have been able to get. Um, I don't think that's actually enough. Uh, so there's two, and then that would have upgraded uh, four. Six, and then he would have had another uh, five stars. So we'll say that's one, and then uh, three, five, seven, nine, and then he would have upgraded. He may actually have been able, it would have been super close, but um, had he literally sacrificed all the other um, forests on his board, he may have been able to push a giant onto here. 
Um, unfortunately, he didn't have the time to do that, he was saying, but he actually may have been able to do it. However, I think this would have would have pushed the game in a completely different direction because literally nothing else would have been able to upgrade at any other point in the game. Um, and so, yeah, he may have had a, a, an extra giant here, um, but uh, I don't think that would have made a huge difference for the late game. Let's keep watching. So back on my turn, I uh, upgrade my uh, second city here, and then go for the giant, and then I can push the uh, the swordsman up and attack, capture his uh, his city down here, and then do a full upgrade. Oh, not an upgrade. Back to his turn. Discovers climbing. Destroys my swordsman that was here. I get another giant up here, so now I'm protecting my, my capital. Upgrade the city over here. I think I'm going to go for a giant again. Yep, get the giant on this city right here. And now I am basically just giant spamming. Back to his turn. Yeah, so let me just pause for a second. So this would have been another good example. If if he had the giants down here that was created, this wouldn't have been able to upgrade anyways. Um, you know, again, because all of the all, all of the force here would have been uh, cut down in order to um, have the giants here, which then means that this would have never happened. Get the super unit. Again, he wouldn't have been able to upgrade this either because all of those, I think, would have been would have been chopped down. I get another super unit up here at the top. What's interesting is I uh, I I have a vulnerability here. Now he does have climbing. Does that mean he could do that? I don't know why he didn't this turn. Let's uh, let's let's see. Discovers mathematics. At this point, it may be too late for mathematics. So yeah, I don't uh, I don't know why he kept both of these open, right? Uh, let me just scroll back. Actually, I don't know if that made a whole lot of sense because at that point, how many stars did he have? He had zero stars, uh, so he couldn't put couldn't put anything on there, but. He could have moved this one in, which even though it may have um, uh, been destroyed in, in, in a couple turns, he would have been able to keep the economy that was here, you know, the, the stars that were generated on that, on that um, uh, city. I get another super unit. Uh, at this point, he's trying to do the um, uh, use the catapults. I think it's probably a good strategy, but it, it may have been too late getting uh, getting catapults. It is uh, it's, it's fairly late in the game. I also discover a mathematics to get some catapults. And now that I have a unit up here and I see that he has catapults, I'm likely to um, bully them anywhere I see them, right? So, um, you know, this one is either going to need to move or attack this and then, you know, get hit next turn. 
And then I do know that there's one up here somewhere, somewhere in here. And so in the following turns, I may uh, put something in here so that it, it pushes them back. Yeah, so he moved it back. Move this back to here. Ah, yeah, yeah. So now that I have uh, catapults, if I could pause. Now that I have catapults, I, put, I had one here from the previous turn. Uh, attack the defender here, attacked it with uh, the swordsman, and then put my giant on. This means that next turn I'm going to be taking that giant. Um, and it's unlikely he's going to be able to do anything from that. I was able to move a giant up to here as well. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, but at this point, I'm, I'm pushing well into his territory with giants. Since most of the, his, his units, his riders, are up in this area, same with the, um, the catapults, um, this is pretty much game over. Uh, he's just not going to be able to do enough. I've uh, entered into two cities for him, one and two. Um, I'm going to probably capture the next turn, and then the, the turn after that, I'm going to be capturing one and two. And I think this is where it's game over. Um, how uh, what I would have made what I would have thought made sense is uh, there's a really good counter for um, swordsmen and that counter uh, I don't actually think is catapults catapults make sense for giants um, but uh, not necessarily swordsmen right I think swordsmen have a good counter with uh, with riders so you know it's gonna take two or three riders to kill a swordsman. I think the counter here would have been, um, and I can't believe I'm going to say this out loud, spies, right? Because it just generates a lot more um, units, right? Which is really the, the ended up being the problem here, right? Um, I also don't don't agree with, and he, you know, he may disagree. Um, all the sacrificed. Um, forests that were cut down in order to get uh, additional stars in the short term. I think over the long term that ended up biting him in, 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 in the ass. Um, but yeah, this turn, uh, you know, we can we can show a couple things, but it's basically game over. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to the channel or leave comments. If you want me to review your game, um, post a link in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.